we're on our way to Moto Pub in Santa Monica. We had a chance to do a dealer demo. We uh, always enjoy getting a chance to show off the beautiful Moto Marini motorcycles. They're always surprised at the Italian design, the graphics, the paint. Everything looks awesome. So when they get a chance to ride the bikes, they always come back and they're pretty excited about the powerful. They work. The Brembo ABS brakes work great. So it's really fun to see the dealers come back and, and, and kind of beat their expectations of what they're thinking about of motor marine motorcycles because they've never seen one before. So uh, today I've got three bikes with me. We brought the Escape, which is our adventure bike. I brought the uh, Street, the STR, which is our naked street bike, and then brought the SCR, which is the Scrambler. You get a chance to talk to Victor Rubelkava and his staff at Moto Club, and we'll see what they think today. Interesting. Let's check it out. So, Moto Marini, a very well-known Italian company, and they're making big moves. 650 parallel twin engine. Everyone says it's a copy of the Ninja 650 engine, which is probably a good thing in terms of, you know, reliability, usability performance this thing is really it's got a lot of features very nice dash has abs only one rider mode but how many modes do you need on a what i would consider entry level to mid level motorcycle let's check the acceleration oh shit okay it'll definitely get you out of traffic if that's what you're trying to do Mm, lots of engine braking. That's full throttle. Full throttle. Yeah, it's quick. It's quick enough, that's for sure. I feel no vibration on the handlebar. That's good. That's all full throttle there. Comfortable bike, nice ergonomics for someone that's about 6'2", like myself. Adjustable clutch and brake levers. Adjustable shifter toe piece. I mean, this thing has a lot of options that come standard for, I think these MSRP somewhere around mid $7,000. Should we sell them? I'm really thinking about it. The price point is very interesting when you look at what you get a 650 water cooled engine and look at that dash it's beautiful fuel level gauge miles to empty i believe it also has like bluetooth connectivity that also comes standard that's a lot for less than eight thousand dollars that's insane and it's, it's a good looking bike brembo brakes bosch electronics Pirelli tires. That's full throttle. Not bad. I mean, nice, nice. Come on. All of this for less than eight grand. That's just what's, that's why I'm riding this thing right now. Like, should we carry them? Adjustable suspension, by the way. Come on. That's a lot, guys, at that price. I'm just, okay. Nice lane splitter. Good brakes, as you see there, avoiding a collision. Yeah, 
ABS is a little too sensitive for riding aggressively, but it works. Not for the scrambler version of what I just rode. Beautiful TFT dash. Okay, so right off the bat, the ergonomics on this one compared to the last one I just rode. Yeah, handlebar, much taller, I guess more scrambler S, and this is the SCR. Identical engines, similar adjustable forks and shock, same Brembo brakes. Slightly different dash design, but same size. Same peppy acceleration. Yeah, very uh, nimble with these handlebars. Different Pirelli tires, a little more off-road, a little more scrambler-esque. Now full throttle. Nice! Nice engine. Nice acceleration. Come on, people. Less than $8,000. That's... It's just... I can't believe it. I mean, the controls look quality. I don't know. I'm liking it. Might have to give them a shot. Next up after this is the X-Cape. This little fella handles nicely as well. Accelerates. Wow. <laughs> Having fun. What do you guys think? Would you spend eight to nine thousand dollars brand new on something like this? I mean, right now I am impressed. I say, why not? What else are you going to buy at that price, brand new? Are you going to get a beautiful TFT display like that? Bluetooth connectivity, Brembo brakes, adjustable forks and rear shock, punchy 650 parallel twin. I'm not even selling them right now, but I'm just saying this thing, I'm impressed. LED lighting, I mean, shit. Whoever is in charge is taking this very seriously. Okay, now for the escape. That's fun. It's a lot of fun. Great bang for the buck. Yeah. Ooh. Feels very different. Look at that massive TFT display. This one MSRP is somewhere in the mid 8000s. All right, very different motor. I mean, same configuration, but definitely a different tune different power delivery for sure different throttle response Pirelli Scorpion Rally STR tires come standard on this bike so man this seat much much softer than the other two obviously the ergos the handlebar is, it feels a little closer to me and nice and tall compared to my seating position in relation to my seating position. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Of course, handles different. Handles differently than the other two. Can't really uh, appreciate the off-road suspension and setup of this motorcycle, obviously on this test ride but I can tell you the pickup the throttle and acceleration response on the other two definitely snappier and a little quicker than this one but again this one's probably designed better suited for the um, off-road full throttle nice gearbox
nice windshield. All of this for mid $8,000 MSRP. Very good wind protection from the windshield and this fairing here. I don't know guys. Look at this. They all come with USB power outlets. Standard. Bluetooth connectivity. Standard. For your helmet communication and GPS. All on that massive TFT display. Nice ABS, controllable. How does this compare to the Touareg? Well, the engine on the Touareg 660 is quite a bit more uh, impressive, but this one's nice. I mean, again, we're talking about 60, 70% of the price. Someone wants Jack in the box. Well, I mean, I was very impressed with the, uh, I mean, it, it's a nice package. You know, I'm trying to look and feel the, the difference in quality between these and like the Tuono 660. It's hard to find. Or, I mean, you know, the motor, you can't compare the motor. That's yeah, It's got more horsepower. It's got more power, etc. But, you know, we're talking mid eight, you know, mid eight. seven, mid eight grand yeah. MSRP. That that just kept running through my mind like a dozen times on, on this test ride. And I was just, you know, that target, that price range is just, it's got to be amazing. Yeah, at $82.99, three year warranty, we pretty much on most dealers' floors compete with used bikes. Yeah. And used bikes are hard to find. The message I got from the test ride is like, whoever's in charge of this brand is very serious. Everything from the LED lighting to the beautiful dash, TFT display, the Bluetooth, the, everything that comes standard on this bike. Most, you know, the USB power, all that is optional, additional option for most yeah. brands. Right. So when you look at that, you look at the adjustable suspension, the Brembo brakes, and I was testing those brakes pretty aggressive. A car jumped out in front of me and, you know, that ABS kicked in and my heart didn't, you know, didn't raise a, a bit at all. That's what, that's what stands out to me is like, whatever's happening here, they're taking it extremely seriously and they're very aggressive with the product and the price point. If I was another brand, I would look at this and I would, I would keep tabs on this. I mean, as a rider, if my budget was ten grand or nine thousand dollars, I'm buying one of these with a three three year warranty, Bluetooth, USB, adjustable suspension, ABS, Pirelli tires, Brembo. I'm not even selling them, and that's just what I keep thinking. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. The accelerate now, just on the street, right? I took the freeway for a couple of exits and blasted back. I was full throttle three or four times. That that. Those guys over there accelerated nicely. Yeah, they yeah. get up and go. Yeah, this one didn't as much as those. Yeah, right. But you could feel the torque down low, the usability of it. Yeah. You know, if I sell more of these than I do Tono 660s, it's just it's game on. You know yeah. what I'm saying? The screen, the display, the options, the fuel gauges, the gear indicators, all that stuff. Pretty good amount of equipment. Definitely. For that price, I mean, who else is doing it? I'm assuming nobody. I don't know. That's right. To get all this for the price of like a Vespa, but very impressed. 